Good morning, everybody. Well, I'm hanging in misery on the farm. I got my back deck back today, so I get to shoot my video from here today. I'm pretty stoked about that. It is a beautiful day. Beautiful. We've been working all day, but I did get out this morning. So Brad and Sam have a Jeep, and uh, it was running rough this weekend. So they're like, they asked if I could run it into O'Reilly's and pull the codes and all on it. So it's like, absolutely. I mean, you let me stay here, I will help you out. But first, I went out and I popped the trunk on the, not the trunk. <laughs> I popped the hood on the Jeep and just thought, you know what, I'll take a look at it, see what's going on. I figured it was probably a cylinder misfire or something along those lines. And I found like a mouse nest um, right on top of the injectors. So I cleaned all that out, made sure the injectors and all had good connection. Everything was good there. Wire. Hi guys, we're finishing this video on the camera on my phone because my GoPro died and I have no idea what I did with my spare batteries. I always have three spare batteries and they're usually in a little black container and uh, I'll be damned, I don't know what I did with that black container. So I just plugged it in directly to charge up the battery but I wanted to go ahead and finish this video so I'm back and I'm trying to remember where I left off. Anyway, I was telling you that I found a, basically a, a mouse's nest or a rat's nest in the Jeep. I cleaned it all out, made sure that all the wiring was good, and the Jeep is running fantastic. But that brings me to something else that we've been having a conversation about this week, and I uh, thought it was kind of funny. So I thought I would ask you guys if you've ever thought about this. So basically, Brad said, look, if the apocalypse comes... You guys are coming here and uh he's like because you bring value you're you would be our mechanic our mechanic on the complex you know we've already got a doctor and nurse that can come of course they're farmers so they've got they basically can grow and kill anything we need to eat um so i mean we're basically set up for the apocalypse i would be the mechanic i would be the guy running around making sure everything worked and uh ran properly right so what would your value be if the apocalypse came have you ever thought about that like it's funny we ride motorcycles a lot right so i spend a lot of time sorry i'm swatting at a fly i wasn't swatting at you i promise anyway i spent a lot of time just in my head right riding down the road for 12 hours a day thinking and the funny thing is i had thought of this before he mentioned it and then today, after I messaged him and said, hey, your Jeep's fixed, he called and he's like, you for sure are coming here if the apocalypse comes because you're our mechanic. <laughs> but what would your value be? What could you provide to a group of survivors? Let's, let's think Walking Dead here. A group of survivors, um, what, what, would be, what would you bring to the table, right? Say the internet's gone and... Uh, you know all the all the modern amenities could you survive and if you could what would be your contribution i mean that could even just be hard hard work right labor planting fixing helping um but we'd all have a value anywho i thought that was kind of like an interesting an interesting topic that i could bring up that we could all talk about and uh, see what you guys think are any of you preppers like, I honestly am not. I'm not a prepper. Um, I guess I'm going to deal with it when the, sh when, when the shit hits the fan. Then's when I'll figure it out. <laughs> Probably not the, the best way to go about it. But anyway, that's what I'm thinking. What about you guys? Are any of you guys preppers? How, do you have like X amount of meals and, and dry meals? and I mean, all that stuff, right? All the, the solar stuff. So that you can have electricity all of that fun stuff i'm gonna swing at you guys again fly so my <laughs> my phone is being held up by my coffee cup which has coffee in it and this fly is trying to drink my damn coffee and we cannot have that there he is he's back again anyway that's my question for you guys today if apocalypse happens what's what's your value what do you bring to the table are you a prepper? Are you not a prepper? And, uh, you know, what do you guys think? Anywho, 
I'm shooting this video early because, um, well, we're headed to volleyball tonight. We had volleyball last night, we have volleyball tonight, and I think we have volleyball on Saturday. So I thought I'd get this video knocked out, edited, and uploaded so I don't have to mess with it when we get back tonight. Um, anywho, comments below, let me know. Um, I would be, I told them, I'd be like the Daryl. I'm bringing my motorcycles, right? My 88 Jeep, it'll be fine. Um, I, don't, I don't need any kind of special computers or anything to fix it. My old truck could be fine. So I'll bring the truck, the Jeep, and the bikes, and uh, we're ready for the apocalypse. All right, guys, we'll see y'all tomorrow.